31 North Michigan going um, up to a supercharger in Big Rapids and then Cadillac and then going all the way up to Mackinac which is uh, about as far north as you can go and the UP, UP means Upper Peninsula, that's the local terminology for the upper part of Michigan. So the trees have turned from a lot of coniferous, meaning they don't drop their leaves, to deciduous trees, meaning they do drop their leaves. Beautiful trees. It must be really nice here in the fall when the leaves turn yellow and orange and red. You want a picture of you in front of the boat? Hey Jennifer, where are we? We are at Washington Golf Course on Mackinac Island, Michigan. And you have someone you know that works here? I do, my aunt Karen works here. She actually manages the golf course. Uh oh, wow, and she's like a famous I hear. Yeah, she um, is a turf grass, man turf grass manager and one of the few women in the country that does that. Wow, cool. Are we gonna meet her? I think so, I think she's on the lawnmower right now. Oh, oh, that was right. Oh, is it on? My two friends, Renee and Jennifer, here we are at the highest okay. point. How high are we? 320 feet, was it? Above yeah. 326, above sea. Yeah, well, high. Not very high. <laughs> Not high for the Sierras, but for out right here. For northern Michigan, this is high. <laughs> what do we do? We just pedal up the hill a half a mile up the hill from the cemetery on Mackinac Island. Yeah, Renee's sister, we told you about her. She uh, runs the golf course or mows the lawn and takes care of the grass. Yes. We can show you the fort, too. <laughs> So I always park up in front and I check in, I check in here, I, che I check in here and then I come get one of these carts and uh, move the stuff into the room. Plug in the electric tooth cleaning products, water pick, and water pick and toothbrush. Open up the soap. Getting used to the all the air uh, express because all the stuff is kind of the same. You, you get used to it. The newer ones, they don't always have this little soap dish, but 
the new ones do. Put it down in the bathroom. I like these walking showers, pretty cool. So you get used to it. I think last night I was in a Ramada Inn, it just wasn't quite the same. So I bring in my, my whatever you call them, I call them medical bags. Uh, that's it, so it's all set up. And I gotta put my car back out on the uh, side of the building on the west side so it won't get sun in the morning. Here's the basic setup. It only takes me probably less than five minutes from the time I enter the room. Plug for the watch and my phone to charge them at night. Then I put my water, my water container so I can get water at night. Here is my computer workstation where I edit my videos, watch TV, etc. Then we have the clothes. So I bring in this, the only boxes I bring in, my clothes, uh, my cables and wires, and my medical bag, and then a couple of those things. That's it. My workout clothes for the, for the gym. So I hang those up to dry, and I'll pack them in one of these boxes uh, for a couple of times. I don't wash them every time. They make it smelly, I wash those. Hard to break old habits, still take my shoes off. Put my apples and things that need to be cold in the refrigerator. That's where I make the coffee in the morning. And I have a microwave, but never use that. Yep, always have to turn the heat up too. They have it too darn cold in here. I like about 72, 3, 74 degrees. Cooling is cool enough.